I'm Elaine and welcome to my kitchen. Well today I have a probably six or seven piano students coming in later this afternoon and this evening so I'm not going to have a whole lot of time for cooking. So today I decided that I was going to make some homemade spaghetti sauce or pasta sauce in the crock pot and uh, that way um, when my husband's ready to eat all he has to do is throw in some pasta in a pot and we've got it. <laughs> so um, we're going to go ahead and get this started so let me turn you down here so you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to move this a little bit. I don't think you can see that real well. There we go. Okay. Now in my skillet I have browned one half pound of ground, ground beef, one half pound of sausage. This is just regular breakfast sausage, but you could use any kind of sausage that you like. I added two teaspoons of minced garlic, and I added one small onion that I had chopped. And so I'm going to put this and start by putting this in the crock pot. And this was browned and well drained. I got as much grease out of that as I possibly could get. I want to make sure that that was well drained before you uh, add this in. Okay, and we have that, that pot in the sink. Okay, and now to this. Now, um, this is my daughter's recipe, and um, I liked it better than the one I used to use, so I switched over to hers, but hers calls for three 15-ounce cans of tomato sauce. I didn't have 15, the 15-ounce 15, um, 15 sized cans, but I did have the 8-ounce, so I'm going to use six of these um, instead of the three 15-ounce. It's only going to give me like three more ounces than it would if I had... Um, had the 15 ounce can so it's not going to make a whole lot of difference so we're just going to go ahead and add that I had to do that to her uh, Cincinnati chili recipe one time because I wasn't able to get the larger cans all right and there's our there is our tomato sauce now to that we're going to add one can of petite diced tomatoes this is a 14 and a half ounce can so we're just going to add that right on in there. Okay, and then we are going to add two 6-ounce cans of tomato paste. So I'm going to go ahead and add this tomato paste in. Now I had something funny kind of happen to me with the old recipe that I used to use. Um, that recipe called for um, just like a couple of splashes of olive oil. Well, my olive oil, my extra virgin olive oil, and my vanilla were right next to each other in the in the pantry, and. Um, they the bottles were very 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 similar so I ended up you can see where this is headed I'm sure I ended up grabbing the uh, the vanilla extract and I poured that vanilla extract in my sauce before I <laughs> realized what I had done and I was thinking that that um, that vanilla, I'm thinking that that uh, olive oil I thought man that's awfully dark and then it dawned on me to look at the bottle I realized what I had done plus I had gotten a good smell of vanilla so I knew I messed up <laughs> so that was not a very good thing but uh, anyway accidents happen and they happen to all of us and you've seen a few happen to me even on camera because I don't do a whole lot of editing in my videos okay so now um, her recipe calls for one half cup of water, so I'm going to put that in. And it also calls for a six ounce can of sliced mushrooms, but unfortunately I didn't have any. And I'm sure you could use fresh mushrooms too if you wanted. Just saute those. Um, I didn't have any, so I'm just going to omit that ingredient. I hate to because my husband absolutely loves mushrooms. Okay, and we are going to add a tablespoon of dried parsley. Um, she says a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley if you have it, but if you don't, you can use one tablespoon of dried. And I don't have the fresh parsley, so I'm going to go ahead and use the dried. 
we are going to use one tablespoon of dried basil. Let me get this, this out and I'll get this, this added. Okay, just pour that right in. There we go. There's our basil. Oh, that basil smells really good. It's got a good smell of that. Okay, and we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of dried oregano. So here's my it's a one teaspoon, and that is about a half a teaspoon right there. And we are going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. Now this has a lot of canned tomatoes in it and because of that we're going to add that brown sugar. Now the brown sugar is not going to make this sweet by any means. It will not make this a sweet sauce. But what it's going to do is cut that acetic taste that any kind of canned tomatoes and that tends to have. Um, and uh, gives them a much, much fresher taste. And believe me, if you don't use it, you will definitely taste the difference. So don't forget to add that brown sugar for sure. All right, and the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add one bay leaf. So that's a, that one's a broken one. There we go. That's a little better one. Okay. And there we have it. So let me turn you back up so I can talk to you. Okay. Now I'm going to plug this in on a low heat and I'm going to leave this for three to four hours. And then at the end of that time, I'm just going to turn it down to keep warm so that my husband can, uh, like I say, he can make his uh, spaghetti or whatever pasta he wants to make with this when it gets ready. And um, then I'll eat when I'm through teaching tonight. So uh, when this gets done and I get it plated up, I'm going to be back to show you what it looks like. Okay, my spaghetti sauce has gotten done and my last student for the evening has left. So I'm going to sit down and relax the rest of the evening and have a nice meal here. So I did want to show you what it looks like all plated up. And there is the spaghetti sauce. Now you can serve that with garlic toast and maybe a nice salad and you'll have a really good meal. And uh, sprinkle that with a little Parmesan cheese and it's just perfect. Okay, so um, you all have a great night, and I do thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, um, please like and subscribe. And, um, and don't forget to hit the little message bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So again, thanks for watching, and have a great night. We'll see you next time.